Okay, guys. Hi. It was hard for me to get in here because Cody. What? Who's upside down like that? Okay, so as soon as I got home, they were screaming their heads off, which may seem like something that I'm so used to, and I am, but sometimes when I'm so used to things, I forget to mention them to you guys. So, yes, let's talk about when you come home, your bird might scream his head off when you come home, and in this case, there's two of them. Look how excited they are to come out. And don't take that as a bad thing. That's actually a great thing. That means that your bird's excited. And are you excited? It means your bird's excited to see you and wants to spend time with you. Hi, Mama. You step up when you head scratch. What you want? Yeah. Okay, so so that's one thing you guys have to understand is you cannot get frustrated at these things like, oh my God, my bird is loud or my bird is screaming his head off when I come home. That means they are greeting you and you need to go over and greet your bird. We're really doing like basic bird care 101. I'm very big on understanding parrot behavior. As you guys notice, I'm more into helping you guys understand the bird's emotions and behaviors than I am into teaching you how to get your birds to do tricks and things like that because I really grew up with birds and I just want you guys to understand all their little cues and quirks. Yes. Okay, so for those of you who never had a bird, your bird may scream his head off. These two have been screaming their heads off ever since I got home because as a common courtesy, birds want you to say hello. And you also have to say hello to your birds before you say hello to any other animal in the house. Now, while that may not seem fair, my dog, he won't really care. He'll be like, oh, at least she said hi to me. Birds will be like, she didn't say hi to me first. What is going on? I've been waiting. They've also been waiting. They're in a cage. You are their entertainment. Hi, puppy. Hi. Hi. Yes. So now when you get home, what do you want to do with your birds? You don't just want to come to them and say hi, like through the cage. That's not gonna do it. You have to bring them out. You have to interact with them. You have to play with them. If you commit to getting a bird, that is your job. It really is. Now, it's not something that should feel like a job. It should feel amazing. You should be excited to hang out with your birds. Let's talk about step up. When you get a new bird, you wanna teach him to step up, right? Now, if he doesn't step up, you could try to tap him a little bit. If he's not getting the memo, you could see if he's better at stepping back, okay? But if that doesn't work, you have to play the step up game with Wyo. So he stepped up, but since he was a little hesitant, you wanna make sure that you do step up and actually physically play the game with a reward. Jersey is so jealous, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. What you would wanna do to play the step up game is you would tell your bird, step up. And if he steps up, you would make a big deal out of it. You'd be like, good bird! And you would clap for him and or give him a treat. It depends on how motivated your bird is and what you find drives him. Some birds are extremely driven by food, so then you want to give him his apple or his treat or whatever. But you don't want to stop doing it, so let's do it again. Step up. Step up, baby. See, so he probably needed some positive reinforcement besides for that, like a treat. Okay, so here's some tricks you can do if they're not stepping up. You can lift their little footsies and show them. You see, I'm giving him like a little lift. Yeah, and while you're doing that, you wanna lower this hand and make it a little less stable because birds always wanna go to the next stable spot, as you can see. And then you tell them again, step up. Yay, good bird. If your bird is not stepping up, you might also want to dip this finger, make it a little unstable in itself like that. See, so lower it, step up. Good bird. What a good bird. Are you talking a lot? So this is something that you want to do as soon as you get your bird home, no matter how tame your bird is. Jersey's literally watching TV with George, having a jealous anxiety attack because I'm here 
with these two. Now, she doesn't exactly know that these two are here, but she knows that Cody followed me and she didn't get to follow me. And these are the kind of things you're gonna have to try to understand and figure out about your birds. So Jersey screaming in the back is not just an annoying bird screaming in the back. She has a reason and it becomes your job to figure out what that reason is. Also, she hears my voice, so I'm part of her flock and I'm here, but she can't see me. This is very alarming for a cockatoo. These are all things that you have to consider. You have to become like the next best bird psychologist. And when you get really good at understanding birds, that's not gonna sound annoying to you. That's gonna sound like a bird in distress and you're going to wanna fix it. And so that's what I do. And that's why my birds tend to be quiet all day long because I know what they want, honestly. So, ooh, somebody bit my ear. Not hard, but still. Now, Nellie is liking my shoulder, so she does not want to step up off my shoulder. So she could really benefit from some positive reinforcement, step up learning like we just did with Monty. What I'm doing now, as you could see, when I go to give her love, when I ask her to step up, she puts her head down. She tells me, she's like, no, 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 no. On second thought, I think it would be much better if you scratched my head. So should I give in to her? Probably not. I probably should continue with my step up training. This would be a lot easier if there was only one bird here, but I only got one hand available and she's taking total advantage of it. Not only that, but because she is a new bird to this house, like her getting love is not something that I don't want to give. I want her to feel loved. Because there's a lot of noise in this house today. Oh, 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 I can't. She loves head scratches. Guys, look at what a sweet bird she is. She kisses my hand like wherever. Cody just said love you. Monty, what do you think of all this? What do you think, huh? What do you think? Can you get scratched too? Yeah? So I try to make some like moves that maybe if you're not accustomed to birds yeah you don't want to just jump into like you see like i go for his head and then i like test out the cheeky and it worked but a move like that could get you bit with a new bird so you want to be aware step up baby ow she's after my ear she's jealous and then she laughs now i want to show you she is not going to step off me because she loves it there so one problem that we have with her is that she's very territorial and aggressive on the shoulder. She's biting my ear, she's bossing me around, and when I come to get her off, she wants a head scratch, and me giving in is only gonna make it really hard for me to ever teach her how to get off my shoulder. She's doing everything she can. So right now, this bird is not learning that she ever has to get off my shoulder. What about you, Monty? Just like a cute little guy. Mmm, <gasps> it smells good. They're getting a sniff now, guys. Something very funny is like sometimes birds like get their sniff like where they are. Mmm. I just get mesmerized by birds. What? Did you guys hear Cody? He said Marlene. At least you guys get to hear Cody in the back. Okay, see, oh, Monty will step down, but we gotta get Nellie to a position of learning to step down, right Nellie? Oh, we can't, your cute face. Mmm, come here, step up. Nellie, did you say Nellie? She just said, she just said Nellie. By the way, I swear Monty says hey, and somebody said something about baby, I swear. You hear Cody said, well, Cody, go up here. Can you go up the stairs? Go up the stairs. Now, she literally kisses me when I wanna take her off. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys a little trick that I use to get the bird off my shoulder when I can't. Now, first of all, if you guys remember, we had this tool that is very useful for teaching a bird to perch. It could be anything that your bird isn't scared of. If your bird's scared of it, that's totally gonna backfire. 
but this bird was totally used to perching up here. So that would be a perfect trick to get her off. Okay, yeah, she's happy. Now, one thing you guys should know about these birds, if you separate them, they kind of call each other. I have to go see what's wrong with Jersey. Do you guys want to sit here and do birdie stuff? And, and, and then I won't watch you and I'll watch the camera later and see what you did. What, you wanna come to me? You wanna come to me? Okay, I'm gonna go see what's wrong with my jersey bird. What? What? Did you guys hear Cody say love you? I l Did you say Nelly? I left the room for a bit and then they were hanging over here on the side. Say Nelly. I'm gonna leave. Did you guys hear Cody say Marlene? So, what are you doing? This is so hard having birds in quarantine because it's like all my birds want me to be with them. So Jersey's screaming because she can't see me. Cody's over there yelling because he can't see me. He, do you hear Cody saying, Marlene, Marlene? And these two scream if they don't see me. So I'm like being pulled so many different ways and I don't have that many limbs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys something. What? Okay. Come here. Love you. Come here. So good, bro. Oh, the big kissy. Step up. All right, guys. If you have two birds, you have to give them equal attention. So, therefore, everything you do, you have to do with them. So, you see? Okay, she left. I don't know where she's going, but she's looking at us. It's me and you now. One thing you guys should know about birds, what are you doing? One thing you guys should know about birds is that it's good to just be with them. Like if you're watching TV, just hang out with them. If you're, see my birds are crazy right now. She can't see me. 